Don't kill me with this sensitive ass shit. Google me, man. This is number 16 TV show for me. Sensitive ass people. I might wake up. I, see, people stop thinking every time somebody says something, they have like a hidden message behind what they say or they're being subliminal. I hate that shit. It's 2012. Let that bullshit go. I might wake coming up here. A gay dude stopped me, asked me for directions. I told him to go straight. <laughs> man, just go straight, man. It's up the street. Go straight. He looking at me like, I, man, go straight, bitch. It's up the street, bitch. It's on Biscayne, bitch. Club Wonderland. Go straight, bitch. It's up the street. Oh, faggot ass. Go straight, bitch. I didn't mean shit by it. Go straight, bitch. Oh, moist ass. Go straight, bitch. It's up the street. I didn't mean shit by it. Oh, faggot ass. Go straight, bitch. Oh, dick in the booty ass. Go straight, bitch. It's up the street. It's on Biscayne. <laughs> <laughs> People kill me, man. All you ladies out here, too, if a dude's fucking you with a condom on and he still pulls out. You're not the one. He ain't taking no chances with your garbage ass. <laughs> He'll be like, oh, uh, fuck this. Oh, oh. Fuck, I got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the females thinking about that shit. I'm trying to remember. Did he, did he pull out? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't care if you laugh at this. They already paid me. All right, in clothing too. I steal. Anybody steal? No, I steal, man. If you don't steal because you got morals and values and ethics, that's cool. I understand. Teach their own. If you've never stolen, I'll give you an analogy. It's, an, it's a poor analogy, but it's an analogy nonetheless. You ever wash some clothes, been laying around for like a week or two? Found $20, $40 in a pocket. You're like, damn, $20. Shit, I needed this. You know that happy feeling you just had come over you? That's exactly what stealing feels like. <laughs> All you broke-ass females in the audience, you ever been at the bar? You know you ain't got $17 to your name. It's a Wednesday. You know you need to make that $17 to make you last a Friday. But you're like, fuck it, I've been dancing all night. I'm hot, sweaty, I need a drink. Ain't no dude offering me shit. So you're getting ready to buy that drink at the bar, and here comes some dude. He's like, oh, I got that. You know that feeling you just had come over you? That's exactly what stealing feels like. <laughs> See, but I don't steal crazy shit. I steal, I steal minimal shit. I don't steal nothing crazy. Everybody's got a vice, porn, drugs. Mine's, I steal candy. See, because when I grew up, you used to be able to get a brown bag of candy this big, filled to the top for a dollar. With a bag of chips and a can of soda for a fucking dollar. Not today. One bag of M&M's is $1.39. I ain't paying $1.39 for this little ass bag, so I steal them. No matter where you go, grocery store, your local grocery store, gas station, Walmart, Target, candy's always right by the checkout. See, but the reason you people get caught, if you've ever got caught stealing, you told on yourself before you, before you did it. When you steal, you got to blatantly and boldly do it right in front of their face. Just look at him, look at him, and just start putting the candy in your pocket. Because they don't think it's real. They think it's a figment of their imagination. They're thinking, like, he is not taking that candy right in front of my face like that. Yes, the fuck I am, lady. This shit is real. I'm about that life. I'm about that life. I do this. So I'm going to teach you how to steal right now. Because the, the reason you get caught, you tell on yourself, you do this move before you steal. <laughs> what are you looking up here for? The camera's up here. Now you showed him your face. You never look up. Head down, hat low. <laughs> Can't get no positive ID. I'm going to give you two ways to steal this candy and get away with it every time. Candy, check out cashier. As soon as you walk up to that cashier, pick your poison. I'm gonna give you two ways, and I'm close. I'm on. I'm done to this right here. As soon as you walk up, make eye contact with that cashier. Look, look her dead in the eye. And as soon as your eyes lock, just do this. And then just walk out. All she's thinking is, oh, let that retarded man take that candy. He doesn't know any better. You just got away with two bags. Okay, if you don't want to do it that way, do it the way I do it. I said, don't be sensitive. It's a comedy show. Same thing. I walk up right up to that candy. 
I looked that cashier dead in the eye, and I'd be like, ah, ah, ah. Who's going to say something to that dude? You going to say something to that dude? You, you could be the toughest dude in Miami. You ain't gonna say shit to that dude. You're gonna be thinking, you're like, this motherfucker's crazy. <laughs> if you're a female, you definitely ain't checking him. Your girlfriend could be one register over. She's like, girl, you ain't gonna say nothing to him? Hell no, girl, he's crazy. He comes in here every Wednesday at six o'clock, takes two bags of peanut m and screams like that and walks out. I ain't saying shit, I need this job. Fuck that candy. He could take the whole box. But fellas, you gotta switch it up. You gotta keep them on their toes. I'll go in around a Tuesday at four o'clock. But I don't take nothing that day, just in case it's a setup. <laughs> you ain't getting me on two bags. <laughs> hey, man, comedy after dark. Marie Lepowski, man.